hi guys in today's lecture I am going to add a drop down instead of this category ID and in the drop down all values will be coming from our table categories because it will be difficult for admin to add category IDs with each product like uh, if he want to add uh, laptop pro or computer or any other product and he want to associate it with a category it will be difficult for him to keep track of numbers so let's add a drop down here in which all the items in the categories table will be displayed okay so we have in categories laptops and this should be displayed here in this drop down let's get started now what we have to do for this we have to okay this is the form for categories okay what we have to do we have to open the form for the products and uh, in this form before changing the text field to the drop down uh, let's add the categories model to our view use backend since we will be fetching data from the category so we have to add the model for categories categories okay this is added also I want to work with arrays so I have to include array helper array helper class as well okay this is done now next we have to go to our text input and instead of text input I want a drop down list so drop down list and in drop down list what I want I want to fetch values from the categories model but I want to map an array so array helper and map the values Okay, now I have to pass uh, an array which will be returned from the model. So categories find at this moment uh, I don't want to apply any condition but later on we can add the condition where status is equal to active all. Okay so this is array will be returned from this next uh, this parameter should be the value which is category underscore id i think and this will be the label which is i think category underscore title yes category title so we have added category title category id save this and let's go to browser refresh the page ok now I have values in the drop down what I can can do let me add another item in the category table should be computers here in this drop down now the entries should be 2 uh, I don't want the laptop to be selected by default so for this let me provide an array for options and the option I want to provide is prompt label should be select a category save this refresh the page ok now laptop is not selected by default instead it asks user to select a category so in this was how we can bring values in one drop down from another table that's it for today uh, 
thank you for watching and if you like my videos please do subscribe my channel and if you have any specific uh, topic and you want me to create video please post me thank you bye